नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारक आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन एलर्जी एंड स्लीप मेडिसिन एट चिल्ड्रंस चेस्ट क्लिनिक न्यू डेली सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ कॉमन कंडीशन इन चिल्ड्रन व्हिच इज ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस ऑफ द लंग्स और आल्सो कॉल्ड एज पल्मोनरी ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस सो व्हेन डू वी सस्पेक्ट दैट अ चाइल्ड कैन हैव ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस सो द यूजुअल सिम्टम्स which leads to suspicion are a child having a persistent fever uh, usually more than 100 degrees which is not going down and persisting beyond two weeks uh, the other symptom could be a persistent cough which is not seem to be improving uh, and has been there for two weeks or more uh, now in addition uh, the child can have a loss of weight loss of appetite uh, and the third thing which which is important is uh, a contact with anyone who has pulmonary tuberculosis uh, in the family or otherwise so these are the common symptoms which makes us suspicious that the child can have pulmonary tb now how do we go about uh, to diagnose pulmonary tb so there are few investigations which are quite helpful the most important investigation would be to get a chest x ray so chest x ray in most circumstances will let us know whether the child has tuberculosis so we might see a, a patch of pneumonia we might see a cavitation we might see enlarged lymph nodes in the chest uh, which can tell us whether this is tuberculosis or this is something else now to Now, X-rays are usually more of more suggestive, but for confirmatory diagnosis, we need to get a bacteria of tuberculosis. So the usual ways would be either to test the sputum, or sometimes to take something known as a gastric aspirate, and occasionally we might have to do something known as a bronchoscopy, which can get us a sample to make a proper diagnosis. so we, if we know that the child has pulmonary tuberculosis remember it is just an infection it can be treated easily treated and the child can be well always so for more information you can log on to our website okay bye